Hello and welcome back to the very next episode of Chop Shop Shua with uh, Shua. That'd be me. Uh, today in the chop shop, uh, we're actually not in the chop shop. I am not in my kitchen, not in the workshop. Um, I'm in the car and I'm on the way to Franken Kitchen. Today is the very first episode of Franken Kitchen. There's many things that can be said about Franken Kitchen. The fact that it's named Franken Kitchen. Um, you know, that has, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in this kitchen. Um, the long story is they moved into this house and the fellow that bought the house, he has a business selling furniture. So he often has um, bits of furniture, cabinetry, uh, some really nice wood species that's been finished really well, some fantastic plywood. There's like cedar, walnut, hickory, all kinds of different species of wood that, you know, come across his desk. It, well, he, he buys and sells the desk too, but things also come across his desk. So anyway, so he finds himself these fantastic walnut cabinets that came out of this fantastic house somewhere here in Pittsburgh. And he says to himself, self, I think these should be in my kitchen. So he bought them and he brought them home. Now, these cabinets, these walnut cabinets, very, very nice cabinets. They, they were installed once in somebody's kitchen, and then uh, they were disinstalled, re removed from that same kitchen. Then uh, they were purchased by my buddy. Then they were modified by my buddy and his friend uh, to be 26, 27 inches deep. Yeah, so a little deeper than normal. Like regular base cabinets are usually 25 inches deep. So they went a little deeper to fit like a faucet and a really big sink. Cool. You're getting custom cop cabinets or a custom uh, top. So, you know, depth isn't that much of a difference, especially if it's in granite um, or some other solid circle. Doesn't matter. Okay, okay, okay. So we're on our way to Franken Kitchen. I personally have installed these cabinets <clears throat> at least twice. I made three or four or five uh, structural changes to these cabinets to fit the sink, to fit the granite to fit the oven, uh, all those things. Those little, there's a couple of those little videos, they're gonna be mixed in here. Uh, but this is the intro to Franken Kitchen. So um, the first thing from Franken Kitchen that I think I'm gonna show you is this. So I just spent all this time drawing this picture so I could describe pins and brackets. I forgot to hit the record button. But this is the picture, and this is the kitchen. See them shelves in the back wall? They ain't there yet, but they're gonna be there at some point in time. They're gonna be mounted with pins throughout the side walls and the back walls so they can be floating, or they're gonna have these little 45 corbels Real simple little chunk of wood, just holding them up. When the homeowner tells me how she wants them built, they will be built that way. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, so here we are in the basement at this homeowner's house. Can you hold that for me? Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, we're at the homeowner's house and the cabinets that are being repurposed for the uh, kitchen sink base and the oven base cabinet, um, which is, they're all slightly different than normal. This is this cabinet, this is a whole kitchen that's being, it's a Franken kitchen is what it is. It's green and everything. So homeowner has matching. And again, I think it's either Brazilian rosewood. It could, I think last night I said it might be um, um, walnut. It kind of looks like walnut too. Yeah. And it, I can't quite tell when I cut it, I could smell that it smelled way different, but I couldn't quite tell exactly what it was. So with that in mind for my viewers at home, check this out. What a green. Isn't that a pretty little box? And look how thick that is. No, it's one layer. So it's one layer of oak on the inside, right? So it's an oak drawer box. Oops. Ow. With dovetailed drawer boxes. You can see that, right? On all four corners. It's hickory. It's not hickory. It's um, walnut likely or something like that. So it looks like the front and back, maybe even the whole drawer box is walnut. I don't know. It's not oak. It looks weird. It's like a pear or fruit wood or something. It's something different. It's out of the ordinary. So the point is, and I hate to destroy this box because this is a very nice drawer. You're still going to have two left. With any luck, 
these will be long enough to cover that gap that I made beside that oven, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna cut the dovetails off, right? I'm likely gonna get two of them. Because we have a 12 inch opening. Can you measure? Thank you. So we have a 12 inch opening, that's 11 inch door, okay? I can get another one of those and I can put, you know, I can actually make a hole. Like this. And um, this would be mounted to, show me the picture of that router shelf, mm -hmm. right? This would be mounted to those little brackets that you said would be hitting on or banging on something. This is, this is, it would, that part would back up to the front of this. And it slides like this, and then the back of it would be solid. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. That's the story behind that. Now that's, again, cabinet surgery and carpentry, and uh, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like until I'm done. Mm -hmm. You know, I can draw you a picture, and I can send it to you, and then we can talk about it later. That's up to you. But it's going to be custom, and it's going to be, again, I don't, I wish I didn't have to, mod, like, cut open these drawers, and, but mm -hmm, that's where the wood is. Um... Here we are in Franken Kitchen again. Uh, this is uh, uh, day three of, of reassemblage. Reassemblage. I don't know if that's a real word or not, but um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna pretend that it is. I'm just gonna go over real quick all the things that I did while you guys weren't here. As in, like I was here. I don't know what you were doing. I just I was doing stuff here. So something like this. Uh oh, come on, dude. Come on. You were sad. Don't be sad. I didn't walk away that long. Like that. Like that. Not so much head room. There you go. Okay. Try again. I'm gonna walk this way. This is firstly, behind me, I think you'll notice this cabinet. Come on, put down, put down. There. See that? I switch I, this actually was a wall cabinet. You see this like back in the day? Um this kitchen's kind of narrow, and the homeowner wasn't sure about the floor space in between this bank of cabinets and this one. So I suggest that she just grab a, a, a wall cabinet from, you know, the local resupply store, like Rehomes, and there's, there's stores that make, you know, recycled building supplies. That's it. So she got herself one of those. I put some feet on it. We mounted it to the wall. Now we have countertop height, 12 inch deep, counter space that's going to extend out into this space eh, a ways. When she decides where it is, she'll talk to the ground people. Don't worry about that. But that got done over here. Hopefully the camera will follow. Um, all of these blocks were installed to uh, attach this to the wall. These were installed in the back to support the granite from left to right. The um, granite manufacturers, the fabricators often come in and they say, ah, oh, you know, granite can only support itself going out so many inches. And different fabricators say different numbers of inches. So. Everybody, everybody has an opinion about how many inches is just the right amount. Anyway, a support on the back keeps the granite from snapping this direction, as in like from front to back, because the sink is going to be supporting all the weight, and that, that sink will be hanging on the actual granite itself. And then that support will actually support the granite from right to left, so it won't snap in the middle. Check this out. <clears throat> So if you guys want to listen along with what I'm doing right now, Biba Doobie is playing this song called The Perfect Pair. In my ear holes, I can't hear you, but you can hear me. Just the way I like it. So anyway, remember we talked, take two. Okay. Do you remember everybody, I was talking earlier about putting in a little metal support for this granite countertop. That's this. She's her, 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 right, right? Now, you see how, mm -hmm. come here, okay, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something real close, you ready? I gotta take this off. Mm.
going to do is just a hair. See that? That is all they want to take out of there. That's it. Because that is about the depth of that right there. I'll do the same thing on the other side. And then that little piece will recess right down in there and this is what I'm trying to avoid. This little bump. See that right there? Now, that's not a big deal. It really isn't. It's not that big. But when you have a, another piece of granite that's going to sit right on top of that, and then when you're sitting across the room, when you're sitting at the dining room table, guess what the only thing I ever see? It's that gap between the top of the cabinet and the granite. And if cabinets are at a level and there's stuff like this poking up, then they're going to have little shims sticking out to level out the granite in the future. So I take great pains whenever I have to put in these kind of supports to make sure that they are well below the level that they're supposed to be. Cheers. So I've done this before in other kitchens and it's usually in higher end kitchens like this one. There's this, this sink is unbelievably heavy. It's, it's such a thick gauge stainless steel, it's crazy. Um, so because this is such a heavy sink and it's so wide and this cabinet has been manhandled, awfully bad and it's by me and you know it's it's sturdy but it's been taken apart and put back together probably i'm guessing at least five times five times grand total well i've done it twice i know it's done three times before me so it's this this cabinet's had a long hard life point is what was the point oops i don't remember anyway ah here's what i was pointing out Let's see if the camera will pick it up. You ready? Check this out. Okay, so I just want you to get a better view of what it's doing because I can sort of demonstrate better from this angle than from standing in front of it. Or she feels better. You can see her feet like going on my cabinet. Right there. The um took it to go in front. Um anyway. About that. I mean on standing, you know, generally. It's about three and a half inches wide. You see how like that this like if so anybody were to who I don't know get up on top of that, um that would that that piece of granite would just snap right in the middle. Nothing you can do about it if you want this sink in this cabinet. But all I did was push the sink back about three quarters of an inch and I was able to put this piece of steel in so that... It won't go anywhere. I'm not, I'm not planting. Now, I'm not going on the middle style. I'm hanging on this metal part here. So anyway, that's not going anywhere. Okay. Hello. Okay. I'm not going to say hello every time. Okay. So, all right. The other things that have been done since you guys haven't been watching, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, no. No. Okay. Oh, never mind. Kitchen's ready for template. So, you get what I was doing with that, like, you know, support the whole front of the part, you know, of the count of the cabinet so that the granite doesn't fall in on itself. Like, that's that's the thing that, you know, you're not going to be told that when you order your granite. The people that come out and measure for your granite, they might tell you. The people that come out and install your granite, they'll definitely tell you because they'll tell you and then they won't install your granite. They'll say, nope, your cabinets aren't ready yet. We can't install this. Happens. But it's a part of the process. I will walk some. We'll walk through a whole kitchen one of these days, and we'll do we'll do the whole project from beginning to end. It's going to take forever. It takes months. So anyway, that was Franken Kitchen episode one. All right. Thank you all for watching the second episode of Franken Kitchen. There are many many steps when it comes to renovating an entire kitchen. Um, any one of these little things that I might do might make your kitchen a little bit better. It might make your install a little bit smoother. It might make your finished product just a little bit nicer. And then that finished product might make it easier to sell your property if you're trying to sell it. Or it just might get, make it easier to like wipe off this little corner, like a little crud. You know, in that little corner over there in the corner. You know what I'm talking 
way down in the corner. Wait, like behind the toaster. You know what I'm talking about? Behind the toaster. If there's a problem right there, you got to tell the granite people then. Because otherwise, there's going to be a problem behind the toaster. As long as there's a toaster there. Or you always got to put a toaster in front of it. You see what I'm saying? You got to open your mouth when the granite installer's there so they can fix the problems that need to be fixed. Dig? Dig. Now. I really do appreciate you clicking. Um, please watch the next one. Uh, I'm not going to ask for you to subscribe yet. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that kind of... I, I, I just can't handle that kind of responsibility for, for people to actually watch my show and expect me to get something done or to broadcast on a certain day or time. I ain't ready for that kind of responsibility. It makes me nervous. But thank you for watching this time. Um, I'll be in touch. If you have any questions about anything I did, if you have any questions about uh, real estate transactions or health repair or anything that I've talked about in um, these episodes so far, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and um, I will either reference, I'll answer them uh, in type or I will answer them with my mouth. So anyway, uh, have a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. So I bid you adieu and au revoir, I'll be the same. And sayonara. All that stuff. Until next time. Chop, chop, Shua. I'm Shua.